So guys, uh, this is God's scent of scent farms here. Our quail cage project is has come to a conclusion. Uh, we started this project uh, three days ago. Today making it the third day. Uh, it shouldn't have taken this long, but um, due to interference of other activities, that is why it took this long. But finally, we are done with it. Uh, I told you guys we'll be using uh, a locally sourced material to construct our feeders, which you can see here. And, um, door is opening inside the watering system has been connected there's water inside already as you can see and it's all connected all working fine you can see there's water in some of them see all you just need to do is to disturb the, the nipple and you have water coming out so this actually reduce uh, water wastage such that once they disturb the nipple water comes out they take it from the cup and that is all that will be coming out of the watering system there's an outlet where we can empty the water or flush the pipe so guys and this tarpaulin, this cellophane here is just to keep away flash, flashes of rain from the feeder. Uh, we ran out of this cellophane but we're going to be getting some more to cover the other parts that is left. And again, one might wonder why I'm using the cellophane to wrap the leg. It's just a measure to, to rat proof the cage. So apart from the leg, leg of the cage, there's no other access to this cage as you can see. It's not close to any other place. It's not that close to this cage. So rats will find it very difficult or impossible to, to gain access to this cage. The only part they could gain access to was through the legs. That is why I have used a cellophane to, to wrap the legs so that they won't be able to get a grip on it to climb upwards because rats and cats are the two major predators that you can face when you're keeping quail domestically but uh, I really do not have the issue of a cat for now, rat is my major challenge, so that is why I'm rat proofing it like this. The other ways you can rat proof it, which should be very expensive, that is using the, the half inch by half inch uh, wire mesh to run your cages round. But that's that was gonna be expensive, so I just went the inexpensive way to rat proof our cage. So the next thing now is to move our quills inside their new apartment uh, we are going to be doing that very soon you're gonna see it in this video as well see you soon guys